Hello and welcome to this uh, video uh, continuation on the acids and bases and sorts um, series. So in our previous video we started discussing reaction of acids with metals and we said acids react with metals that are above hydrogen in the reactivity series and this will produce a sort and hydrogen gas. Alright, so now looking at uh, the mnemonic that I gave last time, phosphocamazifetyl H Comescopt, which is the mnemonic that we have uh, here. Okay, so we can see that uh, I said in the previous video that uh, all the metals that are above uh, hydrogen, meaning all these metals here. Okay, so all there that is it, potassium, S O that is sodium, K I mean C A that is uh, calcium, M A that is magnesium, A A O that is aluminium, Z I that is zinc, F E that is ferrum for iron, a T I that is tin, and L that is actually uh, lead. Okay, that is actually lead. Okay, so now when you look at all these metals, you find that they can all react with what? With um, acids. Yes. But the rest of the metals that come after hydrogen, for example. Uh, copper, mercury, and gold. These cannot react with uh, an acid. Okay, so these metals can react. Uh, all these metals, metals can react with uh, an acid. Okay, so let's look at something. So what we are basically saying is that when acids react with metals, they form salt and hydrogen gas. Okay, and this is how the reaction actually proceeds. Okay. So, the metals that you should always put here are the metals that are simply here. These will react directly with an acid. Okay. So, the name of the salt is related to the name of the acid used as it depends on the anion within the, the acid. Okay. The anion within the acid. So, the anion is actually the... Uh, for, for instance, if you have hydrochloric, I mean uh, sulfuric acid, which is written like this, once it ionizes, you will get um, uh, hydrogen, okay, hydrogen plus the sulfate. So uh, you have something like this. Eh? So the the anion, uh, the anion is basically. Okay, this is the cation. This is the anion, eh? anion, which is so that's where the name will come from, right? Eh? So the anion gives the name to the uh, made to the salt formed. Okay, and we are going to see a number of examples eh, over this. Okay, so I hope you are paying attention as the topic is going on. So we are saying acids react with some metals to produce a salt. I'm sure we know this now, a salt and hydrogen gas. Okay, And this is the reaction. So here you can use the abbreviation MASH to just uh, memorize the, uh, the general equation for this. Eh? So metal plus acid, you get salt and hydrogen. Eh? So now when this reaction is taking place, let's say you get... Um, you get your test tube, right? and this test tube, you fill it with your acid, okay, your acid of choice. You fill this with your acid of choice, okay. So this is the acid inside, okay. You put an acid inside. So when you put an acid inside, then now you put your metal, okay, whatever metal you decide to use. So now what will happen is this reaction will straight away take place now. The key here we are saying that the metal must be from these. Eh? Either you are going to pick potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, uh, ferrum, which is iron, tin, or lead. Eh? So long as you pick any of those metals, uh, the reaction will take place as follows. Eh? Okay. So you are going to notice that uh, when a metal is put in an acid, that metal starts to decrease in size because eh, the reaction is taking place. And what you have eventually being formed is a sort. And then you're going to also notice, you should always notice also bubbles are seen. These bubbles are an indication that hydrogen gas is what? Hydrogen gas is, is produced. So that is how the reaction will take place between an acid and a metal. So let's look at 
examples now how these uh, acids we look at some equations how these uh, reactions will be taking place okay so before we start looking at the chemical reactions just to stress a point here so that it can uh, be better understood so the reactivity of metals some metals are very reactive uh, than others eh? this means they can take part in chemical reactions to make new substances other metals are unreactive and they do not easily take part in chemical reactions if we put the metals in order of the reactivity from the most reactive to the least reactive we get a list called the reactivity what the reactivity series and this is the table here showing us the metals okay so you'll find that as you start here the mnemonic i gave you poso kamazifetil h comescopt okay so you'll find that um, the reaction with dilute acids the most reactive ones are these on top why right? so if you notice the reaction if you if you react an acid with uh, potassium or sodium okay these two here the reaction is violent okay but if you go down and react with uh, somewhere magnesium and uh, calcium it is rapid with bubbles then with aluminium we find that there's uh, it is rapid and then it becomes slow okay but zinc iron tin these have a slow reaction okay they have a slow they do react but they have a slow reaction when it comes to tin very very slow and these ones now here commerce gopped okay these do not even react okay they do not react so never should you ever react directly okay this reaction is not going to take place if you get an acid plus you get any of these metals either copper silver or gold okay you get these okay the reaction here will never take place eh? so that is one thing that you, you need to know under this okay okay so make, make sure you memorize this table but the mnemonic i've given you poso kamazifetil h comiscopt is very easy unless you have you can develop your own mnemonic that you can always eh? remember okay so let's dive in into some um, uh, general equations now so now let's look at how you can tell and come up with a name of the sort okay how do you come up with the name of the sort so we're saying when you get the name of the metal and the name of the acid then you make the sort name okay so the first word is the name of the metal okay the first word is the name of the metal so for example when you get the metal magnesium you add it to an acid the name of the sort is going to carry magnesium as its first name okay so it's going to carry the name magnesium as its first name then the second word now is taken from the acid so for example if it's hydrochloric acid it will add it will become chloride if it's nitric acid to become nitrate if it is sulfuric acid it will become what a sulfate okay so the name comes from both the first name will come from the metal and the last or we can call the surname uh, which is going to come from the acid okay so let's see how uh, that actually uh, goes So here, looking at this reaction, you have magnesium reacting with sulfuric acid. So like we said, the first name comes from the magnesium, and then the last name, sulfuric, which is uh, actually a sulfate, okay? And this is how you write it in symbol form, okay? And we are going to see what that is, okay? So let's look at this one. What is the name of the salt formed when iron reacts with sulfuric acid, okay? So we are going to say, um, want to know this what happens when iron, iron reacts with sulfuric acid eh? so you are going to get iron okay plus sulfuric acid uh, sulfuric acid this will give us we said the first name to be iron and sulfuric acid changes to sulfate. So it's called iron sulfate. Okay. Plus what? Remember, always hydrogen. Hydrogen is given out. Okay. 
hydrogen is always given out examples so for acids we're going to use hydrochloric acid nitric acid and sulfuric acid for the metals we're going to use magnesium zinc and and iron okay so let's see how we can work with with that okay let's see how we can work with that so we're going to start with hydrochloric acid at first so hydrochloric acid plus these metals are all above hydrogen in the reactivity series eh? so we can get zinc so the products yeah, let me reduce the size of my so that everything can fit okay so we have uh, we said we're going to get hydrochloric acid plus we say we get zinc we said the name of the acid would be what uh, it carries the name of the metal first time eh? so which is zinc hydrochloric acid becomes chloride so zinc chloride okay plus hydrogen of course All right, so this will be hydrochloric acid in symbol form now. Most acids, we write them in aqueous, then zinc, mix solid. Then here you are going to get zinc chloride. Zinc as a, we give it a what? A valence of two plus hydrogen. All right, so let's do some more examples in the next video. Uh, We'll continue from here where we said uh, we're going to combine and see the type of reactions that we can get from these. Okay, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Those that would want to start on intuitions, you can also uh, contact this number. Okay and we will add you to our tuition group, okay? So see you in the next video as we continue the series of acids, uh, bases, and sorts.